Um, and the biggest thing that I found, which was kind of cool, was you get this big old bag of crap. <laughs> yeah, you get this big bag of stuff. Um, basically, uh, if we open it up and see what it's like. <laughs> okay, uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, we have the decals that go on the piece. That's a lot of decals. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Is truly a lot of decals. The other one just had like half that amount. So this one you already have you have more work than you had on the last set. So that's a change. Um, this one comes with a different ticket. Wow, we have Sweet Apple Acres on this ticket. We have um, is that the yeah we have the Golden Oak Library and Canterlot. So that's the tickets. It comes with a map of, of Ponyville. Well, I guess Equestria because it has Canterlot Castle. Which, might I add, the, uh, the map has actually been changed now to have uh, the Crystal Empire placed on it and Saddle Arabia. I just saw it at the, um, the convention that I went to this weekend. It's quite different, that one. And the biggest piece that's totally different is this. This is really, really different. It is the station that the ponies go to. Know what you're thinking? It's just the cardboard cutout. Well, yes and no. It's actually, I just realized this <laughs> like about five seconds ago. The door can actually open. You can like, it's one of those fold, those cardboard folding doors. It actually opens and you can close it and stuff. The ticket booth, it'll be able to be you can bend it open and stuff. Be able to open and close. It's quite cute. I have to admit, it's quite cute. Um, for the amount of money that it was normally, 50 bucks, I wouldn't suggest it. But if you are a true fan and you have the entire set that like I do, I would suggest buying it. I would. But I would suggest doing what I did. and Wait for it to go down in price a little before making it, the purchase of it because it is a big piece and you don't have to worry about it being gone because there's so many of them that there's pro it's probably guaranteed that there'll be one left over. So yeah, like I just went to Toys R Us today and I saw it and I was like, okay, might as well. It was like for half price, it's a pretty good deal. But yeah, until um, next time, people, this has been Inno Sky Pie for another episode of Girly Girly Prod Views saying, I don't got a single word going through my head that makes sense, and I didn't give this thing a rating, did I? Um, I have to give this piece a 8.5 out of 10. The only bad, the only reason I didn't give it a, well, a higher rating is A, it normally costs too much, B, it's a reskin, C, it's, um, it's got less cars than the other set did, and uh, I'll, I'd have to say just the major piece would have to be the uh, price. It's the only problem. But yeah, um, other than that, it's a good piece. Uh, so yeah, eight and a half out of ten. Till next time, people. Like I said, it's been. A uh, you know, Sky Pipe for another episode of Girly Girl Pub. You're saying, I've got a single word going through my head that makes sense. And all this time, I've been trying to fold this so it'll actually stand up. And I think it will now. Let's see. Look at that. It stands up. See you guys next time.